The Roman Empire has fascinated historians for centuries, with the tales of Julius Caesar's campaigns and how it became the most powerful civilization on earth at the time. It should come as no surprise that an empire that spanned such a large part of the globe at such a vicious time in history, had to have its own brutal methods of enforcing its laws, subduing even the most barbaric of peoples in the empire. In this video we'll be looking at some of these ruthless methods, and how the Romans forced the criminals of the empire into submission through fear and intimidation. This is 5 Execution Methods of the Roman Empire. Number 5. Pile Driving. Appearing as early as the 18th century BC and later adopted by the Romans, pile driving was a form of ancient execution where a victim was slowly impaled by a combination of gravity and large animals. The convict was placed on the ground and forced to lay on their back, ropes were then tied to their legs, and the ends were then fastened to a pair of oxen or horses with a stake laid between the convict's legs. It was then that the powerful animals were ordered to move forward, pulling the person with enough force to skewer them on the stake. As the pole dug into the human anus or other vulnerable parts, great care was taken to make sure the stake didn't pierce them completely, so the second phase of the brutal execution could be enacted. The executioner would then untie the animals, and fix the pole into the ground, hoisting the victim up while still mounted on the large spike. Under the influence of their own body weight the convicted sank deeper onto the pole, very slowly impaling them, sometimes taking as long as three days to die from the brutal punishment. Number 4. Damnatio ad bestias. With games in the arena being such a massive part of Roman society, it was only natural for the execution of criminals to be added to the festivities of the games. One method that became very popular was forcing often restrained prisoners to fight for their lives against hungry beasts imported from all over the empire. These people would be ripped apart by the wild animals with almost zero chance of survival, as even if the victim was to make it out of the encounter alive, they would not survive the executioners awaiting them, ready to finish off the wounded criminal left behind by the animal. Many Christians would suffer this fate, as they were condemned for being members of a dangerous cult that worshipped death. It's estimated that around half a million people were killed this way, and the punishment would continue until the very end of the Roman Empire. Number 3. Crucifixion. This form of execution is well known because of its use to kill Jesus Christ, however it was one of the most common forms of public executions used by Rome in the ancient world. It's a little known fact that crucifixion inflicts death by suffocation, rather than blood loss or dehydration. After the victim is fixed to the cross with sturdy nails hammered through their wrists, the spread position they were in caused their lungs to be put under a heavy amount of pressure, restricting their breathing as they hung from the nails. Once nailed in place, the victim could be left to hang as long as 48 hours before the executioner would be asked to step in. They would then stop the victim from using their legs to take the pressure off their upper body, by using a sledgehammer to break their thigh bones. Removing any ounce of stability the weakened person still had, and inflicting one more bout of agonizing pain on them before they finally suffocated to death. Number 2. Death by Parasites. Mainly being reserved for Christians, death by parasites was a very slow and horrifying way to die. The victim was stripped naked, smeared with honey and put inside a barrel. It was sealed and then a hole was made in the lid so only their head would protrude from the top of the barrel. The prisoner would be forced to drink vast quantities of milk and honey until they were physically incapable of consuming another drop, then they were left for days, regularly being fed more of the sweet mixture. The barrel was placed into the hot sun, attracting swarms of bugs that would feast on the body of the helpless victim. After being forced to relieve themselves in the barrel over the course of many days, the victim's feces would get caught in the wounds left by the parasites, and create terrible infections. After they endured this for what could last multiple weeks, the person trapped inside would eventually die from the shock and dehydration, all while their body was rotting away within the barrel. Number 1. Poina Calais. Poina Cullae translates roughly to penalty of the sack, and refers to a peculiar type of capital punishment used for people who were found guilty of parricide, which is the act of killing one's own parent or other near relative. The victim was bound and put into a leather sack with multiple animals, including a monkey, a snake, a dog, and a rooster. After all of the animals were put into the sack with the convicted, it was then sewn together to be as watertight as possible, and thrown into the river. Leaving the vulnerable person in the confined space with the vicious animals, all of which were just as panicked as the victim, 
and trying to fight for survival while trapped in the tight confined sack. This would force the animals into an attacking frenzy, all while water was seeping into the bag and eventually drowning all the unfortunate victims inside. That was 5 execution methods of the Roman Empire. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one.